Hi everyone. Let's jump right into lesson 8.1, the first lesson of chapter 8. We need to figure out how to model 20 using two 10 frames. And I know that my um, kiddos have been practicing this almost all year. Two 10 frames we know right away make 10. But in case you forgot, what I'm gonna do is in each box, I'm gonna draw a little square that represents a cube, a quick picture like we always talk about. So as I'm drawing, I'm also gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, if we flip on over to the back, we have to count up these oranges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Notice I pointed to each one as I counted them. Remember, you want your pencil to start on the blue dot and trace around to make your 20, starting at the skyline and going down to the grass line. All right, next part, it says, use cubes to model the number 20. You can use whatever you have at home. I was gonna send cubes home, but we didn't have enough for everyone. So just like we've done in the past, we can just put squares in to show cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 20, like we do in morning meeting, we count by tenths. All right, use the cubes to model 10, or to model 10 cube trains. Okay, so now I have this group of 10, I can make this into a cube train, like they're connected together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So there's one cube train of 10. I'm gonna do the same thing underneath it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. On the next, we've got to count up these oranges, and I think these are apples. So when you have them in a circle, what's a really good idea is as you count, so you don't forget where you left off, you can cross off your orange that you've counted as you count. So here I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So let's see if we remember how to make a twenty nice and neat. So I'm going to stuck, tuck my pencil right underneath this line here and go up towards the skyline, back down to the grass line, and over. For my zero, I'm gonna start right at the tippy top, come down and back around for a 20. All right, let's check these apples out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Nice counting, guys. All right, here we go. Skyline down to the grass line and over. Skyline down and around. Okay, last part. We're 
almost done. This should look familiar, but they added something. So they have the beads on a string in blue and yellow. We're trying to find 20 beads. How many of each color did we circle? So let's see. First, we have to figure out what is 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So I should circle this whole string. All right, let's see how many of each color I counted. First, the blue. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, here we go. And let's check out the yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. All right, last part. Draw and write to show what you know about twenty. So in this part, friends, you could draw a picture of 20 things, anything you want. And then you're gonna tell mom and dad about what you drew and how maybe you chose to draw it, okay? All right, friends, enjoy this lesson. Knock our socks off, I know you will.